Hello, we know how to create a new environment using the Cloud Console and CLI. These environments will be by default activated unless you reach the limit of active environments. And as you remember from the previous videos, this number is limited, but the number of inactive environments is unlimited. So let's firstly see how we can deactivate an active environment and we can do it actually in two ways. We can either branch a new environment like we did in the previous video and then deactivate it or we can create a branch using the git command and just push it to the repository. So let's switch to our console and let's select the feature X environment that I have created in the previous video. So here we need to click on this settings button and at the very bottom there is a section called deactivate environment. And there is also a section called the delete environment, but to delete this like environment entirely, you need to firstly deactivate this environment. And here is a warning message, so let's uh, read it up. Deactivating your environment will destroy all data and services running on this environment, leaving only the code in the git branch and environment variables. So this will mean that firstly, this environment will be destroyed we remove all the data, right? So all, all the data that you have in database, media files and so on will be destroyed and you will not be able to go to the URL uh, of the environment or you will not be able to go to SSH. We can activate environment anytime if the Git branch is still available, but remember without those um, data because the data will be destroyed and you can only reactivate like the data by syncing the data from the parent environment and redeploy. So if you have anything important on this environment and you need to deactivate it, please do a copy, do a backup because it will be totally destroyed. So we can click right now on this button and uh, here is a confirmation that we want to deactivate the environment feature X from the Vimo project. And here you need to confirm that you understand that all the data will be permanently deleted and that web URLs and SSH access will no longer work for this environment. Once you confirm, you click on deactivate environment and delete data and this process will begin. And if we switch back to the environment view, we can see new activity uh, saying that this environment is uh, being deactivated. And if we click on the locks, here we can see an information that um, yeah, environment is inactive, deleting environment. This will take some time, but we can switch right now to our shell and list Magento Cloud Environments. So this will give us a list of environments active and inactive. And here we can see that develop is active and feature X is inactive. So if we switch back to our a cloud console, we should be able to see that indeed the um, uh, feature X environment is already um, inactive uh, and it, like it was disabled. In this overview, we can see that the status is inactive, there is no URL, so indeed this environment was deactivated. And if we right now switch to shell and if we type Magento Cloud Environment Delete and Help, we will see a list of options and arguments that we can use to delete one or more environments. So this is an alternative. You can do it from the Cloud Console. You can do it also by Magento Cloud CLI. And with this tool, you can specify a couple of options like to delete, for example, here are actually some examples. So we can delete all inactive environments by specifying this inactive flag, or we can remove all of the environments merged with their parents. So we can use the merged option. And we have other options like exclude type, exclude uh, like the environment that we want, do not want to uh, delete or we can like specify that we only want to delete environments of a specific type. So this can be all configured here. So if you have multiple environments to remove, I believe it will be easier and quicker to do it with Magento Cloud CLI than just by going through Cloud Console. I believe this will be a lot of easier. 
but also there is an option and actually if we type um, this comment and if we like execute this comment um, Magento Cloud CLI will ask us if you want to delete the git branch or not but if you don't want to like make this in interactive mode you can also specify that yes we want to delete the branch and if you remove the git branch this will mean that you will get rid of the any trace of this environment uh, in Adobe Commerce Cloud so this environment will be removed so right now the environment in cloud console is deactivated we can still see it here but once we remove the git branch this will mean that it will be removed if you right now switch uh, to the settings of this environment we should see that this delete environment section is active right now so before it was disabled we couldn't like do delete env en environment but right now it is enabled and we can delete our environment so um, let's actually do it from Magento Cloud CLI. So let's switch to the shell. Let's type it and just quickly um, and just type the feature X. And here is the confirmation that Magento Cloud CLI wants from us. So are we sure we want to delete the inactive environment? Yes, it will delete the environment. We can also like um, run this git fetch prune to remove deleted branch from your local cache if we type right now magento cloud environments this will show us that because we totally like removed the git branch uh, for feature x there is no longer such environment in our environments list and if we switch so as you can see, uh, see here develop is still active so let's go to Magento Cloud. So let's check out the develop environment. And if we type right now environment delete develop, this will ask some other questions than if we try to delete the inactive environment. So here we can have a confirmation that the environment develop is currently active deleting it will delete all associated data so the same information that we had in the cloud console so firstly there is a question first fair question are you sure you want to delete this environment so we need to confirm yes then there is a question if you want to delete the inactive environment which is git branch so we will actually not do it uh, because we will use in the upcoming videos this develop branch this develop environment so just by using this single command we can um, delete one or multiple environments uh, we saw how to do it so let's maybe leave this develop still alive so let's um, select and that we do not want to remove the git branch because let we will firstly deactivate this environment and then we will use another cli command to activate it again so i can show you that let's do it with the end option and this will also take some time so let's also uh, close it all right i believe it should be inactive so let's see and uh, the environments list and indeed the develop is inactive so then if we want to activate we just need to run magento cloud environment activate from the uh, from the shell let's see what we've got in the help um, here so um, we need to specify argument which is environment we have an interesting option here because we can specify that we want to set a new environment parent before activating so for example if you just want to change it to the master branch you can do it by simply adding this option and there are some additional like the default options that we see in every single uh, comment uh, but if we go to the cloud CLI let's see what we can do in here so again let's go to the settings and we have um, like this reactivate environment option so if this environment is inactive so we can um, reactivate it so we have again two options to reactivate it from the cloud console or from the shell so we were in shell let's do it on the shell so let's environment activate and just specify develop uh, again some question are you sure to want to activate the environment develop yes i am sure 
again this will take some time to do it and as I mentioned in the beginning of this video we have two options right we can use Magento Cloud CLI and the Cloud Console to activate deactivate um, and to like totally remove the environment but if you want to create a inactive environment we can just simply use the git command so if we type git checkout minus bear which is the option to create like a new branch and we specify for example x1 and if we push it right now to the magento upstream feature x1 so we see that we just got some information from the adobe commerce cloud and no package to build environment is inactive so let's right now execute magento cloud environments and we should see another environment called feature x1 which is inactive and if we switch to our cloud console to our project let's see here we need to oh, okay we need to filter by inactive as well so develop is still like processing but the feature x1 it's inactive so if we click on it and if we go to the settings we can like reactivate this environment or delay this environment totally i hope that after watching this video you are well equipped to easily and efficiently manage your um, adobe commerce cloud environments so thank you for watching and in the next video we will focus on those two buttons which are called sync and merge so we will see those in action thank you and see you in the next one